morning, good evening, good afternoon, and thanks for joining to uh, today's stream, Discovering Neo4j uh, AuraDB with Michael and Alexander. So welcome, everybody. Hi, Michael. How is it going? Your microphone is muted, I think. Or is it me? Uh, is it muted? You? Now I hear you. OK. I think I do. No. OK. No. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> uh, so not sure why it muted. Um, yeah, no so just get back ready for the podcast. And uh, actually, I had a good conversation with our colleague Mark this morning, uh, our, mm -hmm. our ex-colleague Mark Needham. And oh, nice. uh, we were talking about um, podcasts. And so I thought, why not look at podcast data today? And that's how this came about. So uh, podcasts are really cool. And I think I listen to a lot of them while you know, doing chores or exactly. walking or yeah. going for a run or so it's either audiobooks or podcasts, usually at yeah. 1.5x. So Mark goes all the way to 3x. That's not what I'm not, uh, oh God. Uh, as good I think as my brain that. is not capable of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but it's an amazing source of information, right? So because that's yeah. uh, really interesting discussions, new topics, lots of like science, uh, politics, psychology and, and lots of other topics. Uh, I think everyone can. I saw today on, on Player FM actually there are 20 million podcasts now. 20 million, which yeah. is unbelievable. And, I think it, um, it, got, it got a big boost during the past two years, I think. So yeah. um, it was a phenomenon, and I think probably before. Uh, I listened to podcasts, obviously, also before. But then you know, within the last 24 months or so, um, it, it's gotten really big and everybody is listening, almost I think everybody is listening to a podcast and probably clocked yeah. hundreds of hours. So what's in, your favorite uh, ones? I yeah, listen, Alex. well, in, I listen to a couple of German ones, um, which nobody probably will understand uh, much. <laughs> uh, um, in terms of English speaking ones, I, I listen to um, the Lakehead Scientist which is mm -hmm. a, a podcast series on all kinds of scientific topics. They pick a topic and discuss it a little bit in, in more, mm. um, you know, generic, easy to understand terms. And another one um, I listen to is uh, is Pivot. It's like a business uh, podcast. Yeah. 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 You? Cool. Yeah, my favorite ones, I have so many, so I have to actually select them. So 99PI, <laughs> 99% Invisible is a in podcast about architecture design in everyday life, which I really like a lot, which kind of how architecture and design is influenced and influences everyday life. Uh, so it's very much not just buildings, but also who lives in these buildings, how did, for instance, skateboarding develop in Southern California while all the pools in the um, in the gardens of people were dried out in a, at a certain year. And then like these kidney-shaped pools mm -hmm. were kind of the starting point for, for skateboarding. That was a good one, for instance. Oh, uh, I also listened to Lex Friedman post podcast, which is usually really good and deep interviews. Um, uh, lots of science podcasts as well. Omega Tau is one that's German and English. So there are some German episodes, some English episodes. It's usually quite interesting. I listened a lot to the coronavirus podcast, the German one, uh, yes. which was really important during uh, COVID. Mm -hmm. And uh, Daniel and Jorge explain the universe. That's especially for science fiction. Uh, sorry, for, for uh, astronomy uh, folks. Uh, that's to cover all kinds of stuff, like how cold are black holes and kind of what are <laughs> the largest stars in the universe? And can there be a star made out of antimatter or, or dark matter or stuff like that? So they have a lot of uh, uh -huh. good stuff uh, in there uh, as well. And uh, I used to listen more to U.S. politics podcasts um, back in the days uh, when it was more crazy. Uh, in the US. <laughs> so Preet, Preet and others. Um, but in general, like all kinds of things. And I always discover new ones. Oh, there's actually also quite a number of uh, good developer relations podcasts. So for instance, mm -hmm. from Algolia, the DevRel podcast is really good. And there's also one on public speaking, so uh, which is also nice. I just forgot the name. Um, something around uh, public speaking, uh, which is really good because you learn from a lot of folks uh, different tips and tricks for like giving presentations and, and streams and, and, and so on. So that was quite a good, really good one as well. Yeah, quite quite a variety. So many, and yeah. When, when sometimes you watch hard to catch up with all the new you, stuff that's coming. Do you have a favorite podcast a chat? Anything you, uh, you, you want to recommend us um, or can recommend? Uh, or at least, you know, 
Do you listen to podcasts uh, while you... At least yes, please let us know. Because then we can perhaps even import it into our graph because we, uh, we can fetch live data from Player yeah. FM today. And uh, so please uh, share in the chat what podcasts you like to listen to and then we'll try to import it into our graph as well and uh, show you how to do it uh, too. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, shall we get going? Um, yep. So I'll um, obviously mention notes um, before we, we, we dive in uh, exactly. Um, call for papers has been extended uh, for a couple more days. So if you are thinking about speaking and thought, oh, I missed the deadline. No, you have another, another more, more, a couple more days until 31st, um, yep. end of the month. So um, please go ahead, submit. Um, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be fun, and um, yeah, hope to see you there, yeah. uh, and hope to read about uh, your your proposals. Any any level is welcome. If you think you're you you are not technical, not advanced, not specific enough, don't worry. Uh, it's it's gonna be notes should be for everybody, and there will be deep dives. There will be high level stuff. So it's it's um, it's gonna be fine. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, we asked a lot. Oh, we got feedback from a number of people that they were still on vacation and yeah. uh, school has not started yet. So they have not been back yet. Uh, so that's why we extended it. And also, uh, by the way, even if you don't uh, plan to submit, you can already save your seat there and, and tell your friends and, mm -hmm. and colleagues and everyone uh, to pre-register already for notes because I think that uh, is also good for us for the planning for planning purposes. And um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And on the same page, you can register as well as find a link to to submit um, if you want to. So uh, just go to uh, to the website. I, I just linked in chat. Um, okay. Uh, we can change this. I'm gonna skip. Um, discovering Neo4j already be free. That's what we do today. Um, hands on with already be free. The plan. Uh, I'll just quickly do this again. Um, we recap uh, what Neo4j already be free is. I'll do that in a second. Uh, generally, we pick a data set. Um, if you have any any data, anything you, you saw somewhere, or you have a data set yourself, you don't know what to do with, uh, get in touch with us. Um, we, we might be interested in, uh, in uh, importing that or using that as a um, you know, source for this stream. Um, we look at the data, we think about what kind of questions we, we should ask, what, what makes sense, what would, what would you want to know when you look at uh, usually a CSV file. Then we go and uh, determine the data model, uh, load and query, um, and have the data in Neo4j. Um, yeah. And what is Neo4j Aura DB free? That's the free version of Neo4j Aura. Aura is our graph database as a service offering, and you get a free tier, which you know is free. All you need to do is basically go uh, to the link. Uh, I'll post it in a second, and uh, yeah, log in. Um, you have. The only limitation really you have is, is that it's limited to 200,000 nodes and 400,000 relationships. The rest is more or less the same. So uh, that should give you a good uh, starting point uh, to do basically anything you want uh, with, uh, with a graph uh, in the cloud. You get Neo4j Bloom, you get Neo4j Browser, as well as the data importer. And you will see all of those today, I think. It's um, free forever, so obviously you don't have to worry about it um, as long as you uh, stay in the, you know, limitations of the of the nodes and relationships. You can do whatever you want with it as long as you want to have it. And uh, yeah, all you need to do is go to the registration page, and I will post that in chat as well. And yeah, today we will be doing uh, podcasts uh, from Play FM. So again, let us know what what podcasts you listen to, so we can add it to the uh, specifically to the to the data we are going to explore. And uh, with that, I'll switch over to your screen, Michael. Yeah. Super. Here we go. I hope you can all see my screen and uh, ready to go. Um, so as I already mentioned, uh, we want to look at podcasts and uh, while talking to Mark, uh, we were actually looking for uh, other public APIs for podcast uh, data. And we were not really successful. There is, um, I tried to first search on, um, on Kaggle for uh, podcast data. And there's only like a handful of podcast data sets. And unfortunately, most of them are very thin. So they have 
uh, perhaps a lot of podcasts, but each of the podcasts doesn't have a lot of like information, right? So there's like uh, something like the podcast name, uh, basically your ratings and the title and and the description, and that's it, right? And also all the other ones don't don't have like breakdown, like you know topics or episodes and and, and things like that. And so um, unfortunately, Kaggle uh, didn't work so well this time. So if you mm -hmm. if you know of a Kaggle data set that's actually much better. Uh, I'd love to hear about it uh, because then we could um, use more of CSV uh, importer, of the data importer. Uh, but I was not uh, successful uh, with Kaggle. So we'll skip Kaggle for today uh -huh. and we'll go with Player FM. Uh, but, but before we go there, uh, let's create our order database because then it can uh, be spun up in the background while we are uh, looking at uh, the source data a little bit. Cool. Uh, so you just go to uh, Nifuji Aura. Um, Alex already pasted the link, and then you select Create an Instance. And we want to have an ORDB free database. Uh, I call it Podcasts. Um, it's in Belgium for me because that's closest. If you have different regions, then you can pick one in uh, Asia Pacific or one in the US for ORDB free. And I'll pick the empty data set. There are other data sets. If you want to play around with other uh, data sets with guides, then you can do that. And then I'll just uh, say create this database. And fortunately, uh, we can now download credentials, which is super helpful for me because I always forget to. Um, I always forget to save them properly. Uh, yeah. So for me, this is kind of uh, really, really useful. Uh, so this downloads the credentials, and we can click on continue. So we don't have to be afraid that our uh, here it is our database is. Uh, not accessible anymore. Cool, and now it will take uh, one, two minutes uh, to spin up. And while we're doing that, we can look at the uh, Player FM uh, data. So I was kind of, as I said, Googling around, and I found a single, uh, single overflow post, which is also rare uh, for something like, is there an API for podcasts or so? And they basically also say, uh, there's Player FM. And what you do is you basically uh, put just a .json at the end of the URL, and then it renders whatever you have as as JSON file. Um, and they pointed out some other stuff, but this other uh, link uh, is not uh, that useful for our purposes. Um, so we can actually try this, right? So we can basically go to uh, Player FM, uh, search for a topic. So I, for instance, searched uh, for 99% invisible, as I mentioned, uh, which gives me the um, uh, the podcast list. And then if I dot add dot JSON here at the end, uh, I get some information about uh, the podcast as well, right? Uh -huh. And um, this gives me like the, the high level, I make it a little bit bigger so that you can read it better. Uh, this gives me the high level information, like who's the author of the podcast, title, what's the homepage, an image, um, things like that. I also get uh, some statistics here and uh, tags, uh, which tags is this podcast kind of annotated with like, graphic design, architecture arts, and, 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 and so on. What I found a little bit weird is uh, if you see this kind of raw title, it's kind of shortened, right? So it's, uh, so graphic design is actually okay, but by, for architecture, it misses the E at the end. And for um, society, it's an I instead of a Y. And okay. so it was kind of weird. Or for, for Roman Mars, it misses the S. So I don't know what his raw title is. So we'll... I thought it would be something like a slug that we can easily use, uh, but as you can also see for 99% invisible, it's also like <laughs> misses half of it. Uh, so we'll probably use just the uh, tag title uh, instead. And uh, so that's, a, that's the tags and then uh, also uh, the images. Uh, then then we will, so this is already a good starting point, right? So, um, but then um, we also saw that uh, there's more detail on each episode. So there's uh, also, uh, separate lookup URLs. And what we actually found is even if you have an, um, let's see, uh, like this, I have 99% um, 90, invisible. Actually, I think we can even remove the number here. Yeah. Um, URL. And then we say we want to have full detail and also episode detail uh, as well. Uh, and we want to have that many episodes. So I, you can 
put like what a thousand or whatever as a limit and usually it's kind of skip limit like 150 per page or something like that but for fetching it you can just also put limit 1000 so it's not like other apis or other urls that kind of filter this out which is kind of nice for us today uh -huh. and uh, so we get more detail right so then we also get um, information not just about the text that i just showed you uh, but also information on each episode so uh, here are the stats and then here are the episodes, right? And so episodes is a list and each episode has an ID, which has a slug, a title, and, and URL description, uh, duration, and, and, and so on, right? Mm -hmm. Published at. And, and so that this gives us for each episode. So we get basically a podcast and all, all its episodes uh, as such, right? So which is really nice. Um, so that's our starting point that I would like to import into Neo4j. And if you have podcasts to share, we can import them as well, um, as such. Uh, to load this kind of data into Neo, um, we're going to use Epoch Load JSON, which is a uh, utility function, which kind of accesses the web URL, gets the result back as, uh, gets the JSON back um, as a result, and but prepares it so that Cypher the Neo4j query language can uh, work with the data as well. So we don't get it back as a string, but as a structured document uh, uh, style um, nested map and, and list structure. So we can use it from, from there. Right? And we're going to do it in a way that we can rerun the statement time and again, so we can start small and then add to it uh, as we go. Right? Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, so uh, we don't need. Uh, oh, so actually, the other thing is, uh, I also looked at their FAQ and actually hidden in this <laughs> little thing that says, I'm a developer, can I build my own postcard podcasting app? And they say basically, oh, you can just append .json to certain URLs and then uh, basically hope for the best. Uh, that <laughs> okay. And unfortunately, they are right. So it doesn't work in all the places, which is really frustrating uh, because while it works really well with kind of a uh, podcast and its episodes, if you look at some of the other things, like for instance, we have, let me find this here. Uh, there's a uh, featured architecture uh, page, right? So if I go to uh, is this here. So this gives me like really nice overview of all architecture podcasts, right? Exactly what I wanted, right? So I thought, okay, cool. This looks really great. And let's just put .json at the end of this, uh, which is returns JSON, but there's nothing in there, right? That's so there's empty. like a yeah. bunch of languages and that's it. And then like some of these lookup URLs, like uh, where you think, oh, dot .all sounds like a useful URL. There you get basically just a uh, permission denied uh, ah. thing. Right? Okay. And Mark also tried it with being locked in and it didn't work. So, uh, but what works is basically if you take uh, this kind of featured architecture episodes URL, you get basically HTML and then you can pass in something like limit 1000. And uh, so you get a lot of HTML back. Uh, so basically it's, uh, let me show you. Uh, yeah. Uh, so even if I add a dot JSON here on episodes, right? So you would think if I add a dot JSON here in episodes, it still returns me uh, the HTML, which was a little bit surprising and frustrating. But what I did is basically I just took this uh, data, and you can either use um, something like Beautiful Soup to extract things. Uh, I just basically did a search and replace in, in VS Code uh, uh, to get. Uh, Basically, let me show you 99% invisible. So basically what I did is I found these URLs that have the location of the podcast, basically. And then uh, basically the title of the podcast. Uh, so I just extracted them and turned them into a um, CSV file that we can later on import. And then for all these imported ones, we're going to... Uh, fetch the data in detail as such. So that was a little bit of a frustration uh, bit, but uh, we got it to work. So I have here, an, at least for architecture, I created an, a TSV file that has uh, the URLs and the titles. So we have a starting point, at least for architecture podcasts. Right? Cool. So that's what we're going to use. Um, so player F, um, FAQ was not so helpful. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, let's close this one. 
And so I would like to uh, start looking at perhaps at a single podcast. Uh, perhaps you can do this. Uh, uh, a single podcast and its tags. So we have like a baseline and then we work from, from there. Mm -hmm. right? So and I think we can remove these ID numbers. It works, still works uh, as such. Right. Yeah. Cool. All is there. So what we're going to do is we take our OR instance, uh, which is now running. Uh, we open the query tab uh, over here, which opens near for your browser and uh, close this browser guide. And we need to get the, um, let me see if I find it real quick. Uh, my downloaded credentials file. And I just copy uh, my password for my credentials file. By the way, these credentials files are really useful because they are basically environment variable files. So you can use them in uh, JavaScript, Java, uh, Python, whatever. Uh, to basically just seed your connection details for your application. So if you build an application with Neo4j, you can just source these files or use something like .env um, library to make the content of this file available to your app. So you have connection URL, uh, username, password, and database name in there. So basically, uh, this gives you a full-fledged uh, uh, end file that you can use in your applications, which is really useful. Um, so that's quite nice. So and now we're connected uh, to... Um, our database, it's currently empty uh, because we didn't create anything. And now we can actually use uh, epoch uh, load JSON for our URL. We just copy the URL over here and run this. And so we should see uh, that it returns exactly the same as we've seen in the browser, uh, just that this time it is uh, actually Neo4j data. Uh, so it's not a, a string or something like that, but it's really uh, data that we can uh, break down. So this is called value. So we can say yield value. And then for instance, from our value, we can return certain aspects. So let's see, what do we have? We have, um, for instance, uh, description, description, comma. So this is a shorthand syntax for extracting values out of, an, um, of a map. Uh, then we use language, title, and ID, language, title, ID. What else do we want? Perhaps. Um, uh, do we have subscribers or something? Uh, that's, yeah, uh, so uh, the author we probably also want to have, right? Yes. Uh, wasn't the author as well? It has also a slug, uh, which we probably want as well. Uh, it's an easy way to access it. Yeah, maybe uh, further slug. Down. There's name. Uh, that's the network name, but probably at the end it has. Uh, let's see. Sometimes the sorting of uh, maps is a little bit weird. Mr. Author. Yes. Author here. Author. And URL, right? Uh, author. Yeah. URL. Uh, which is probably the same, or probably let's use home as the, the home page um, as well. And then, uh, so this should give us basically uh, the basics, and then we can look at uh, tags. And for the tag, we take, um, I think, uh, amount is tags. what is amount? Tags, what yeah, they text dot title, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm not 100% sure what the amount and the percent percentile uh, means, perhaps the amount of entries for this tag or something like yeah, that. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Uh, but for us, I think the title it's of the tag, yeah, uh, yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we would say we take tags and for the tags we use, um, uh, uh, let's first look at this data and then we can look at the text. So they, they said there was also statistics data, right? Uh, stats. Uh, statistics here yeah, stats um what do we want number of episodes number of number of subscriptions number of episodes right. sounds that, good that's probably because yeah wrong. number of subscriptions is, is is definitely not not right mm. yeah so let's take number of subscriptions from stats as well right so uh, sorry yeah. episodes uh, episodes yeah okay P so it's, it's basically a value dot stats dot number of episodes. So then we look at the text next, right? So if I run just this, then we get exactly what we what we asked for, right? 
Uh, and this is what we can use to create our first node, right? So let's uh, actually, uh, let's take this information and create our first node. And our first node is a podcast node, right? Um, so they call it series, but I would probably call it podcast. Alex, what would you say? Yeah, uh, I, I guess uh, that's so probably just an internal, maybe there yeah. are other things like, uh, I don't know, audio book or whatever else. Maybe they have yeah. other stuff. Exactly. Stage, so we can know. create this yeah. podcast based on its ID uh, here. Yeah. Um, and then we just set the remaining attributes, uh, P plus equals data as such, right? So this should give us uh, our podcast node and we can return it as well. And uh, I already mentioned that we want to create our statements in a way that they are important so that we can run them time and again. And it just uh, basically gives us the data that we just created uh, back. So we have now here our first little node in our graph, 99% uh, invisible. And here on the side, you see all the um, attributes as well. Actually, I realized perhaps we should actually take the author and pull, it, pull them out because they might be participating in more than one podcast. That might be something that we want to do or yeah what do you think uh that's actually something that we can also do uh, that's probably a good also, idea yeah if they if they if they do more than one or i mean there could be like guests or something uh, that are i don't know if, if that's a good if, idea let's see yeah. if this uh, is um or is it perhaps the host uh perhaps it's host is better right or uh yeah. host? Podcast? i think podcast host is host? a good name yeah. Uh, because then we can also say host hosts podcast, right? So this is basically creating our node for our host. And then uh, basically uh, we also say, we also create a relationship between um, the host and the podcast where we say uh, this host hosts this uh, podcast, right? Yeah. So this should uh, run again. And then we should see our host here should have a name and that's Roman Mars. And if you expand the relationship, we should see Roman Mars holds 99% invisible, right? Oh. Cool. Uh, the other thing that we had in there was text, right? So if, if you look back at our original load JSON, uh, we see that down here we have tags and each tag has an um, title somewhere here, title, right? So that means uh, if you look uh, at our value again, it's basically return value dot text, which gives us just the text, right? And we want to go over all of these texts and say T in value text. And for each T, we do T dot uh, title. That's all we are for now interested in because I don't know what amount and percentile actually means here. Yeah, right? the other texts are not- We could say language, but uh, I have need this. Uh, no. What might be interesting there were others. Uh, the other... I was just looking if we want to use the ID of the tag as well. Ah, okay. So that might be consistent across. Do you think we should do this? We can probably use tag. I mean, uh, we can edit. It, it doesn't ID. hurt so much. Mm -hmm. So this gives us now, like, uh, for each tag in this value tags, uh, our title and ID as well, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, here we see ours. So... Uh, so that means we can just take this thing uh, that we just created and use it in our uh, update statement here and add it here. So for each podcast, basically. But don't you want to put the text as a separate, separate node? Uh, yes, it's a good point. Uh, so we would say this is kind of our podcast data. And then we say comma as text, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good point. And then we basically just say unwind uh, text as T or tag data. And then we would say merge uh, tag ID as uh, tag data dot ID. And then we would say T dot name is uh, tag data dot name. Right, because we have only like the two attributes here. Oh, oh, see, I misspelled it. It's title actually, but I think tag name. I like tag, tag name more than tag title, to be honest. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. and then we need to create uh, uh, that the podcast is tagged with these tags as well. Yeah. Right. 
I think that makes more sense. Super, and then it complains about did we miss a comma somewhere? There's a comma as data t in value the text. Uh, what does it complain about? Uh, episodes, number stats value. Oh, sorry, I had left over and and then it just says that it was have now with you. So that means for our little graph, we can actually expand our past here and see uh, it has uh, an host and three tags. Right? Yep. So be nice. And now we can, uh, we, we could now do two things. Uh, so, and Alex, you, do, you can decide what we want to do first. Uh, so either we uh, now import our CSV file and import like for all these podcasts, uh, exactly this information. So we have like a large set of podcasts or we could go down the rabbit hole for one podcast and uh, add the episodes next. So what do you want to do next? Uh, I would say let's uh, add more episodes. Okay. Um, Cool. So we have we have one episode, uh, one one uh, one title, more uh, more information about yeah. it, and then we can connect it cool. to the others. Super. So that means uh, basically instead of uh, using uh, this simple URL that we had here, uh, we also say we want to have episode full detail and episode offset and episode count and order of episode by newest and and so on. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what this add means actually we can probably leave this off. No, we can't leave this off. Okay. Um, so um, so what we're going to do now is basically this 99% invisible is basically the bit that we want to have a variable uh, or perhaps here is that 99% uh, invisible. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll pull this out in a second. Um, but let's take this URL. And um, if we just put in Let's see, this is our URL. Uh, this is our URL. Uh -huh. And then we use epoch load JSON with this URL. And then I think at least looking at the, uh, looking at the things, it should actually still work. Okay. Uh, the, the JSON structure is basically the same. Do we right? need like episode name or something? Uh, um... No, it number. gives us all the episodes, basically. Uh, it gives us 1,000 episodes, yeah. basically. But so then we don't know be... which episode is which. I mean, is it episode five? Oh, no, that's... Five? No, we'll... No, this just means... So we just wanted to uh, make sure that if we... For the other podcasts, if we import them from this more complex domain, uh, podcast and episodes in one go, basically, I just want to make sure that it still works and it doesn't do anything weird, ah, basically. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And then in the next step, we add the episodes and then we fetch the other podcasts. Right? Okay, uh, let's just run this and actually it works, right? So it, it, nothing new is created. Uh, so we get all the stuff back that we had already there. Yeah. Right? Super. So um, now if you look at our um, episodes information here again, uh, so we need to basically Return value. So now we can see at our episodes. Where is it saying ep episodes? Here. Oh no. Episodes. No, it'll further Hold down, on. I think. Yeah. Right. So uh, we have a bunch of information of each episode, right? So we have uh, an image. Uh, which I don't know if you want to input that. Publish ad is probably interesting, so we can take this, and this looks like uh, seconds. Uh, uh, a description, which is good. Uh, a title. So let me right. just take notes of that. Uh, so we wanted to have return value dot episodes, and then we want to have e, and then we said title. Uh, duration sounds good as well, right? Uh, what else do we have? Do we need the size and bytes or so? Probably not. Duration is more no. interesting, right? Yeah. Uh, ID is good. Um, and I wrote title in German, so it will probably not work. Uh, uh, description. Description is good, yeah. All right. Uh, what else did we have here? Published at. Uh, yeah, maybe Quite. further down is a is a date that makes uh, more sense. We can probably say published and we 
let's say at just daytime of epoch uh, seconds. There's a typo. And then and um, epoch. No, no, it's, oh, it's yeah, no, sorry, I thought you meant epoch. <laughs> no, no, uh, uh, yeah. epoch in German. Right? Yeah. So, so that's our date. What else did we have? Description. So media type is probably always uh, audio. Yeah, that's not interesting. Title is interesting. Do we want to have that's the whole minimal, I don't minimal know. title? But that does not include the episode number. If we if we take title, we can uh, we could um, split oh, yeah. and say. Um, but I'm not sure the... if every time, if every podcast has the episode number in the title. That's true. Uh, as such, let me just put in Slug real quick. Um, but yeah, you're right. It would be nice to have an episode number, right? So why doesn't it have an episode number? That's really unfortunate, actually. Yeah. Right? It doesn't, no, nothing ID. after that. That's, that's the end of it, right? Uh, duration we already did. What else do we have here? It's URL title. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. We should probably check for another podcast uh, to see if uh, if they also have these titles like and like this one. Uh, so we need to get one podcast for, from Alex. So let's go to Player FM. What was one of the podcasts that you said? Uh, you are... can do the, the Naked Scientist. Naked Scientist. Yeah, the, 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 the uh, yellow. This one, right? Yeah. Okay, and then we just uh, take our full URL, this one here, duplicate this, and put in... Uh, let's remove this. Where yeah, was Naked Scientist? Yeah. Uh, I just want to have the correct slug. Um, yeah. So if we put in naked scientist here, then it should fetch it. Should probably also not use like the million episodes. Uh, so <laughs> piece. Yeah, slug. Here the title has a colon after. Yeah, it doesn't have. Uh, uh, it's not, so it's it doesn't, doesn't have. Or if you it scroll down, down further. Yeah, it's really un unfortunate that oh, they don't they have, have episode numbers in there. Episode right? numbers, okay, yeah. And here also, it has. They just like have names. Statistics. Yeah, they just have yeah. names. They don't even have. Okay. I mean, we could probably generate the episode numbers because if we import all the episodes uh, for a podcast and um, basically just iterate over all of them of a podcast, we can basically number them ourselves. But then perhaps something is du published duplicate and, and so on. So I yeah, then let's probably... let's do not do that. Then, uh, then let's yeah. just use minimal title instead. It's just uh, exactly uh, use minimal so. title. So e dot minimal title. But that should be. Mostly it, right? We have slug, we have published, and, and so on. So it means for most of our stuff, we should should have this. Uh, so for e in value dot episode, so we iterate over the episodes for uh, the uh, podcast, and then we get this information for each episode. So duration description. Uh, ID, published titles, flag, and the date didn't like us. Uh, or was it not published at? It was published at, right? Um, I don't remember. Published at. But isn't this seconds or is this milliseconds? It looks like I seconds. No idea what this is. <laughs> it's millis uh, epoch. See, now I misspelled it. You pop my knees. No. Oh, here. Wait, yeah, no, that's what? wrong. That Epoch seconds right. is... Needs to be... Oh, here? Now it's... Okay, 2017. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool.
This should, should give us the episodes, right? Yeah. So we just steal for episodes and then go back to our big input statement. So by the way, we can, can also do it one after the other, but I just wanted to get one statement that gives us all for one podcast. And then we can run this for all the podcasts basically, right? So uh, here we can our tags and here we have our episodes um, as extra data. Mm -hmm. And so here we create a podcast and then uh, we're connected to its tags. And then we just take the podcast and uh, episodes. Uh, so that we don't create one episode per tag, but distinct, but just one as such. And then basically we do exactly the same as we had here. Uh, uh, we Uh, episodes as EP data, and then we have EP data dot ID, and it's our episode. So we merge an episode with ID AP data dot ID, and then we probably set all the rest of information on the episode EP data, right? And then we just say episode is so. What do we want to call the relationship here? Uh, is it part of or uh, episode <laughs> of or what? What do you usually say about episodes and podcasts? Um, so, uh, yeah. they are like published. Uh, what are they? Launched? They are uh, released? Or so, uh, we could probably call it part of or something. So part of, yeah, know. part of or yeah. Episode, or episode of. of yeah it's i don't think there's a better word for it yeah okay it would be nice to have a verb but um yeah i don't yeah. i can't think of a verb now or contains or um, yeah contain i mean broadcast okay, so... you would say broadcast i mean then the other way around uh, you no know, the podcast podcast broadcast, podcast or broadcast published, or... Or published or something like this episode yeah Okay, then then also the published at that date fit, actually fits, right? Yeah. So and now uh, it should run and create a little bit more data because it now creates these 800 episodes and let's see if it actually uh, merges them all. Okay, now it's still running. <laughs> oh, I you know you know Alex, what for you, what you also forgot we didn't create any uh, constraints or indexes so. Uh, constraint on what did we have uh, tag uh, assert t dot name is unique. I still can't remember the new syntax for constraints. Uh, uh, assert create constraint t, assert t dot name is unique uh, on. Right, uh, so that is our tag name. Uh, then we have an episode uh, ID, right? And then we have, have podcast ID. Oh, and the author name. Uh, we had also an author. Uh -huh. Or was it host? We called it host, right? We did call it host. Uh, so we have our host name is also unique. Okay, that should give us uh, all these kind of things. And hopefully this also helped this stuff being created. Oh no, we needed too much memory here. <laughs> okay. Oh man, the whole memory thing again. Uh, okay, what we could do here is uh, instead of creating all the episodes in one go, we would kind of do this in uh a couple yeah. in transactions so we would say call and then uh let's see i hope this works um so i think we need to do the distinct outside here already and then say uh call with p comma p so oh no sorry my bad. We should do the 
unwind here. And then we say with ep data comma p, we do an call in transactions of, let's see, 20 rows or something like that. Right, so it would basically for each batch of 20 episodes, it would put it together into one bucket for a separate yeah. transaction. And what? It's not allowed after a write clause. Okay, whatever that means. It's probably because we did already writes here and then it doesn't like that we want to do more writes here. Um, then we probably need to change our data or our statement here to create, turn this into a match. So we find the podcast and then don't do the text again. Then this is a pure episode adding operation here, right? So we probably then also don't need text here mm -hmm. and only need uh, the ID for this. So let's see if this works. And then we need to also prepend this with colon auto. And let's see. Exciting. Exciting. <laughs> cool. Um, so, uh, so that means we need to run two statements. So one that creates the podcast and its tags, basically, and, and author and, and so on. Uh, wait. And then another one which adds the episodes as such, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's hope for the best that this works. Uh, should have probably looked at the query plan before. Um, well, now it, okay. it, if, it, if it goes by in, uh, in 20 uh, steps, it'll... It should actually, right? But somehow it still hangs it, for whatever reason. It should. Uh, that's weird. But then again, this takes maybe a little bit longer. Um, uh, but of, something is weird here, right? So because it's now oh no, it's crashed. Hanging. Okay. Did you break it? You shouldn't have broken it, right? <laughs> um, Wait. Okay. okay. So that, this is kind of the new one that I just opened. Um. I just wanted to use this to look at the, ah, oh, no, 269 notes. That's good. Okay, it created, so it just took a bit, right? Took created bit, yeah, 264 yeah. notes. I think it's because of these all gigantic text properties. Perhaps you can also just reduce them a little bit. And we oh, just... I also remember the other thing that's, that we also do is we return all the stuff to the browser again. Uh, so uh, basically, so the whole oh, JSON the and all the other stuff. Yeah, yeah, well. okay. Yeah, we... So if you do it uh, like as count star, this should be better, definitely. Yeah. And then the other thing we might want to also shorten some of this uh, description data uh, in the future as well, because that's just a lot of stuff that we can also just fetch from the internet, basically, if you want to. Um, but this should now be better, I think. Yeah, maybe instead of description, again. like a... Oh, no, no, it, uh, see. No, no, because the data right. already existed, of course, but uh, still. Okay, so that means uh, we should be able to to create our podcasts now, right? So this is this one statement, and the other statement was the one with the post and the text and, and everything. Where we said... Actually, I, there we could even use the short URL, this one, right? So if you take for your naked uh, scientist, uh, the naked scientist podcast, this one here, uh -huh. right? If you just take this here and we run first the statement to basically create the podcast data. Uh, and we had here in with Storm. Uh, should probably also turn this into count star. Um, and then uh, we also run our big statement here uh, just for the naked scientist instead. Uh, 
And oh, see, this time it, it was really just the browser not so having yeah. being able to deal with all this uh, data. Yeah. So now we have 846 uh, nodes and 844 relationships in here. So we can basically, what I'm, for instance, interested in in tagged. So is there any overlap between the two? Doesn't look like it, right? So it seems also that the naked scientist is much better tagged than 99% uh, invisible, mm. which make, makes me a little bit sad, but. <laughs> uh, so be it. Okay, and uh, now uh, what we can do next is basically import our uh, podcast CSV file here that I created. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just copy the raw URL um, of this one. Uh, let's do this. And uh, now we have actually two options. So we could use Data Importer to create these podcasts. Should we use Data Importer to just show it? Uh, Probably yes, I not think, such a bad think, idea. Right? Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, so let, let me do this. Uh, so we just get uh, our data embed portal connection. Uh, we add a file for architecture here. So which is basically just the URL and the um, and the um, the slug basically for the URL and the name. Uh -huh. uh, and we just create a new node in our data importer, which we call podcast. And um, I just forgot, we should have basically set the um, the slug here as an uh, URL, basically. So what's it called? It's called series slash. So we can basically uh, quickly update this and say uh, we find our podcasts. So that it just reconnects with our orders as well. Uh, uh, set p dot slug equals series plus p dot slug, right? Ah, so, so you add it in uh, in. Uh... Yeah. So if I rerun this, then our podcast has a slug which slash starts with slash here. Right? Ah, I see. Okay. Yep. Um, mm. So we could have also created a separate uh, URL thing, but just for the. Uh, to create it quickly. So we have our podcast here. We select this file. And then we select these properties from the file. So it doesn't have the IDs here, unfortunately. Uh, and so we would use, uh, oh, sorry. I just realized on my local machine, I hadn't, uh, let me do this again, one second. I hadn't put um, headers in the file. Uh, so this is slug, and this is uh, what do we call a title, right? So let me just reopen the architecture file. Ah, now it has slug and title. Mm -hmm. Let's clean this out really quick. Select from file slug title, and then our slug is our ID for the time being, and then I just run import and then it basically imports 830 uh, podcasts. So we should have now many more nodes in our database. Uh, 1600, right? And if you look now at podcasts, we see that each of them has at least a title and an and slug, right? Yeah. So we know that that's the name of the podcast, right? So exactly. we don't have the episodes, we... but we just have the, yeah. Exactly. What we can now do is basically take our uh, our import podcast uh, statement here, and we do it actually for every of the podcast, right? So we say match our podcast, and uh, basically this is our slug bit here, right? Yep. So we put in p dot slug, right? Mm -hmm. And then. Um, uh, we don't need to merge the podcast again. We just, uh, because you already have it, uh, so we can just set the data uh, because you already found it here, our, our podcast, right? Yeah. We just set the data, connect, create the host information and, and, and so on. So, right? we, 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 so the we, only thing we have, we have now 800 or so podcasts in, in, our, in our database, but no episodes for the, the podcast. So we so look for... We have each. nothing for them, right? Exactly. Yeah, or, or so nothing. we currently yeah, exactly. have only... We the two yeah. properties right now, uh, right? So which is a little bit, uh, oh no, they were up here somewhere. Uh, yeah, podcast. exactly. Yeah, you clicked on. Right, so they only have a uh, name and oh, if you look at the table. Yeah. Oops. So this was our first one, but then for the, all the other ones, we have just title and 
Yeah, uh, we know nothing. Slush, basically. Yeah. So we we now look at the the data and and, and gr grab it for for the others. Grab the additional uh, data exactly. Yeah. Right. So the only thing that we don't want to write overwrite is the slug because otherwise it, it gets confused uh, as such. Right. Mm -hmm. So and uh, we just forgot to pass in the p here and then so this will no, now do return. You still got the return store. Oh there. yeah. All right. So let me just import this real quick. I hope it's doing it. Otherwise, that we let it run here and then we just. That definitely will. Uh, uh, um, Oops. Uh, Did we break it again? Uh, That's actually also a good statement because it's kind of creating data for 800 and, uh, or a few thousand uh, podcasts. We should probably. Uh, we get this here. Uh, it's probably also one where we would, would want to do an um, call and transactions. So call we transactions, say yeah. here, call with P and then uh, return count star and then uh, in transactions of, let's say, 50 rows, rows as count. And then we just return sum of count or something like that, right? So then we have the total. And unfortunately, this one needs to do in one line. So this is still busy terminating its query while we are hopefully adding now some data. So it does now basically 50 calls at a time and, and fetches the data from. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you. We, how so, many? Uh, how many podcasts did we add? Eight hundred or so. so. Yeah, eight hundred. Uh, yeah, it will take a bit, probably to add, add like. I see. Now it started. Oh, and we yeah. had a null host, uh, so this is not good. And we could say basically host name is coalesc data author and unknown or something like that, right? So. So, so it doesn't this, like to merge on 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 null values basically. If, right? if so you it, put in coalesce, then you you have it ignore. Yeah, they're all connected to an unknown host basically. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, if you would filter this out with a var statement here, uh, then we would it would not add tags either to the podcast. So the other thing that we could do is uh, another subquery uh, where we say with p comma uh, data. And uh, but it gets a little bit complicated, and then do a var statement here. Uh, yeah, okay, but this seems easier. So this unknown thing is easier, but we could also say uh, with star where data dot author not data author is now, and do an and then just turn count star here. So it would, if there's no author, it will just return zero from this one. And if there's an author, that would return busy one here from this okay. one. And then uh, we have to do another with, sometimes it's a little bit finicky. So, but you saw that it already added a bunch of data. Some of the podcasts now should actually have already more information, right? So at least yep. the tags. And because this is all architecture, we should actually see multiple podcasts being connected to fine arts now. See, like all these mm -hmm. podcasts and or to, to science. And uh, hopefully there's also some overlap between some of the tags, right? So higher education. So you see that, for instance, here there are some podcasts, the naked scientist is connected to higher education and to science, for instance, right? And yeah. And, and uh, here's another one that's connected to fine arts and higher education, for instance, right? So there's more overlap happen happening now. Um, so if we uh, say we want to see, uh, let's say, uh, the podcasts um, that are connected to a bunch of tags, basically, uh, then we can basically, let's, let's say, uh, 25 of them. Oh, sorry. Uh, 
uh, tech distraction. Uh, then we see already like a little network appearing here where we see uh, podcasts overlapping uh, as such. Right? And then we could also say, okay, which tags are uh, co-occurring between podcasts. So we can actually also say uh, which tags appear in pairs uh, as such. Right? So we could also say uh, n dot name name comma m dot name comma count star how often do they appear in these pairs as frequency and then basically just order by frequency descending and these are like yeah. co-occurring between arts and graphics design, design and, and arts, architecture yeah, and arts and, and, and so on and so i mean it's obvious of course uh, but arts and society is nice that this call occurs, for instance, 107 times, right? And yeah. and 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 so on. So that's something that we can do now, or we can start at looking kind of which hosts host multiple podcasts, right? So um, yes. Uh, so where we say uh, just find me the host that hosts multiple podcasts, and there's like Roman Mars and Marshall Poe, which has like <laughs> many. <laughs> that's got a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Like lots of book book podcasts, basically. Uh, yeah. But then each of them has then again tags, and they probably also overlap, right? So which is kind of nice to see. Yeah. Uh, they even tagged Marshall Poe. Uh, so the the guy is so famous that he has <laughs> his own tag, his own tag. Right? Yeah. And um, what we could do now next is basically to 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 do the next run, which is basically adding episodes to. Uh, so it added 7,500 uh, nodes and relationships basically to our uh, data here. Yep. And now we could do the same like we have here for our episode adding pod uh, query, uh, which is somewhere here. Right. And then we would yes. basically uh, do the same for adding episodes to all the podcasts as well. And then we can start looking at the data and and querying it and and, and so on. Right. So, but um, I think we're out of time actually. That's a bit. So yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, uh, this is exciting. You, uh, sh shall we continue this? That, but, but it's yeah. As a yeah. Uh, as a uh, part two. Um, yeah. Perhaps we can next week we can do part two and then perhaps look at a little bit like overlap and uh, see if we can do some analysis of. Uh, perhaps import some more different areas. Right? So now we had architecture, but I just wanted to show you in Player FM actually. Where's Player FM? Yeah. Um, there's this Discover tab. And here you have like the topics, right? So you have popular trending. Uh, uh, we looked at si we can look at science, we can look at society, and there are like more topics, right? And we just imported the architecture topic, uh, which is only one of the many, right? So, and then. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we could also pick uh, a few more topics. So if you're listening uh, and have uh, ideas which other topics we want to import, then that would be a good uh, opportunity to let us yeah. know. Or, or, or let the, us know um, which which uh, questions you would like to, to see. I mean, maybe uh, <laughs> get yeah. a recommendation or get uh, get uh, you know get, so get, get something else out of the data, post it in the yeah. comments. Um, that would be interesting for us. Exactly. So we, so exactly. we and then we can also look at Bloom uh, next time, kind of exactly. if you can kind of overlap uh, some of the uh, or kind of query some of the data visually or do some fun uh, stuff with uh, scene actions or something like that. Where we can remember, Alex, in, at, at Graph Connect, where we talked about that we can actually turn Bloom into a small interactive app with scene actions and 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 query um, yes. safe cipher queries. Uh, so instead of writing in React app, we can also just show how we can basically use Bloom to uh, have some of these find me like all top ten pod podcasts for this um, mm -hmm. for this tag or for this uh, uh, series or something like that or find me whatever right uh, the top five listened uh, episodes for this for this person and so on. So actually, that was the other thing that I was a little bit sad about. There was not so much listener information on the episodes right so i hope that actually on the episodes themselves so because you have number of subscriptions is kind of weird right yeah that um, must, be, must be a wrong number because on, on yeah the, on the website because, there's like, a big there's a different number yeah on 99 pi has like at least a million subscribers or so if that's even enough 
but also we don't have any like listen counts or listen times or so that would be no. also nice to see as uh, as data because then we would also see or ratings or so right because yeah, apple yeah, exactly. and all spotify have all these ratings and perhaps you can look at uh, if you find some more data on on these things and 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 see if you can find some other sources as well I mean, this so is, if you have this ideas is... for other sources, let us know as well, and then we can yeah. happily uh, look at you, that. Oh, see, and we can do the... recommendations. Can you see that? Exactly. So, uh, for instance, I also really like the Mario Palace, and and I also have listened to uh, Hidden Brain as well, right? So and yeah. and so there's we can actually do some recommendations as well uh, for what's similar to these. Yeah. For instance, yeah. by tag, right? So I guess they do by tag, yeah, because there's not much else. Uh, yeah, in, uh... exactly. In there, uh, I mean, they, they must their probably data. have additional yeah. uh, information about their users when you are, yeah. um, you know, listen when you're logged in, in also. Yeah, then you, then but then you know it's probably only before. for you. Uh, so I don't have an account, so Mark has an account, but I can probably sign up or sign in here, right? And then, yeah, but I guess it's very much similar by tech or something, like that, uh, yeah, right? yeah, definitely, definitely. It's uh. Oh, here, here it has the subscriber numbers. Here, one point. It has million. the numbers. Yeah, yeah. It has. On if you go back to ninety nine uh, percent, then you also see it that the number is probably not not right uh, because it's oh, it's in, probably in the only the number on. It's probably only the number on um, on Player FM, but it said sixteen thousand or something. Uh, um, so. Um, yeah, six thousand, right? But it's more 6, than 000, the seventeen yeah. or whatever. It it's has, more than right? seventeen, so, so I don't know where the seventeen comes from. This is yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't but then know. we need to see it's if this other number shows up somewhere, right? Six thousand one hundred sixty-four. I don't know if that showed up there. No, it's not in here. Okay, I don't know where so this know. comes from. Maybe yeah. they, they have another. Okay, but um, yeah. got but good point. So we can stuff here, and uh, perhaps that's a good uh, thing for next time that we can yeah. pull this in. And it's still terminating yep. the active <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. that was uh, good. That was, yeah. yeah, let's let's uh, do that. We, we, sounds um, good. Talking about next time and next episodes, we had a couple of questions on on the YouTube comments on the London Underground data, so I I, I answered them. So we, we we because we said we could we could look into the data again and uh, and do some more exploration on it. It's yeah proven to be more difficult because we don't we we said we. There is opportunity, yes. You can do like, like you said, okay, it takes a, how many minutes does it take to get from one platform to the other and stuff like that. But we we don't have that that data. So yeah. uh, unless somebody has that data and provides the data for us, we, we, we cannot really go further because we, we, don't, we don't have anything to, to go by. Yeah. So we could, yeah, could not really show Some us. of our British colleagues shared some APIs with me, uh, but that's for was more real real time data. So it's basically what is currently happening happening in the underground network, and not not so much gen generic layout kind of which platforms are there, uh, kind of which trains arrive at which platforms, and what's the walking distance between the platforms and so on. So I need to see if I find a little bit more uh, there as well. And uh, but if you if you find more there, we can also yeah, do in part two of the. Underground, um, London underground episode as well. Yeah, if you if you have any data, if you um, if you watch this and uh, and think, oh, I actually have the right thing for 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 us, then yes, please mm. post it. Yeah, uh, in chat, let us know. Oh, and 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 by the way, uh, before I forget, uh, our uh, my session from last week, uh, Alex, when you were off, I did the Marvel uh, API. Yes, I see. and uh, the blog post is published now, so you can actually uh, read it up or watch it if you missed it. And uh, I try to be uh, quite comprehensive in in all the bits and pieces. And uh, so, let me know if you like that. And uh, this is also a vast data set, of course, that gives us a lot <laughs> yes. of stuff that we can uh, look at. So, thanks again to Jennifer for preparing all the queries and everything. Uh, so I didn't do it all my by myself, but built upon the work from Jennifer as well. Uh, but it was a fun fun uh, exploration uh, as such. And with all the new stuff coming out, uh, that also... There's so many things, yes. It's, uh... Uh, which reminds me, uh, uh, there's the new uh, Game of Thrones uh, spin-off, House of Dragon. Yes, that uh, the one when also did it launched. Today, tomorrow? Something. I think people said that they have already watched the first one or so, but I need to see. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, 
So I need to figure out where it's actually streaming outside it's of it's called HBO. Wow. It's uh, it's Sky in Europe or at least in Germany. Oh, okay. So you okay. need to have a Sky. Uh, oh yeah, I think thing. I don't have Sky. Yeah. Uh, we have everything else, but not Sky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, but, but that could be another one to revisit Game of Thrones data and see if there's any any good stuff uh, in there as well. And mm -hmm. uh, actually show also how how you would import the Game of Thrones data set into uh, Aura with the data importer. Um, yeah. Or that would be uh, good. Lord right. of the Rings, which is uh, getting the this, this series. Uh, right, there's the Prime series, week. right? Yes. Uh, yeah. True. So oh, man, we have so many good uh, things that are yeah. out there. <laughs> so uh, because for Game of Thrones, there's this network of But Thrones for Game of Thrones, there is, um, there is a, here it is, the Will's block in the middle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, but uh, Andrew Beveridge is actually the guy who did the analysis on the books and the series, basically, and extracted this kind of uh interaction network from ah, okay. um, yes. game of thrones but there are also other game of thrones data sets with like all the houses and the battles mm -hmm. and who killed whom and who married whom and and all this other stuff as well right so there's a lot of good data that's also another one or two episodes basically um that you can probably do about it and lord of the rings as well also in lord of the rings there are not so many houses <laughs> no, not so many houses now that there are more different races so yeah, uh dwarves and elves and humans and Orcs, orcs, and yeah, goblins and everything, goblins yeah. or so. whatever, hobbits. So, um, yeah, yeah. let us know uh, what you would like to see. Exactly, then, yeah, uh, let us know. Uh, give us, <laughs> give us uh, an Too indication, <laughs> and uh, and we we will uh, we will see what we can do. Um, yeah, uh, thank you very much, Michael, for um, for presenting yeah, and for for showing showing us. I think this could be a cool. Uh, a cool one to do a uh, follow up on. Uh, I think we we now settled, yep. set the ground sort of, uh, and had to have the data in, and now we can yeah. we can explore some some more in the graph. I think that's 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 something we should, should yeah, be doing exactly. So I'll probably and, try to write it up today or tomorrow as a blog post so that we don't lose all the queries that we wrote today, and then uh, we can take it from there um, as mm -hmm. for part two. For part right? two. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. Uh, yes. Uh, all right then. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, this was it was nice. All right. Don't forget to share notes with your friends uh, if you haven't yet. Yeah. Um, we already so have votes for, for 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 doing a part two. Okay, H two says we should do a part two. All right. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> I I cool. think um, yeah. that is it is interest. That's cool. Uh, thanks yeah. for letting That's us know. Point. And yeah, to, to submit to notes. Um, if you want to watch more uh, Neo4j uh, streams, then um, we have um, uh, recommendations actually tomorrow. Um, I have uh, uh, a guest, so I have Neo4j live tomorrow nice. um, with uh, Philip uh, Brunenberg. Um, and we talk about recommendation uh, systems. Oh, and, nice. Uh, yeah. From a theoretical aspect, what 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 goes into them? How 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 do they make sense? How do they come around together with graph data science? So that's that's going Something to take right. place tomorrow um, afternoon at uh, five p.m. Central European time. Yeah. So um, Philip has done a number of really cool blog posts on on graph data science, and I really exactly. enjoyed them. And I, I yeah. think that will be a really uh, fun fun one. So good. So, yeah. So that should be fun oh. tomorrow morning. Mark the day. Uh, tomorrow yeah, morning, depending yeah. on when you watch this. Uh, afternoon yeah. European time, morning maybe when, when you are in the, in yeah. the States uh, and evening yeah. more or less if you are uh, Asia. Really good uh, one. Located. And another one, uh, uh, Alex, that you set is up is the uh, Graph Connect uh, videos, right? So we have, do you have the link at hand, uh, Graph Con uh, I need to find it. Uh, otherwise, uh, I can. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Let me. Uh, uh, I just don't have it at hand, but uh, yeah. we can probably also <laughs> chat. Uh, the, the, the... Oh, let, me, let me test the search actually oh, on the comment. Oh, cool. Uh, okay, I, put, I have it. I've got it. I found it. Here it is. Um, it's. Uh, I don't know if you find it. I put it in chat. 2022. Uh, yeah, I'll open it. I just want to test the search here. <laughs> uh, keynote. Yeah. Yes, this yeah. is it. Oh, oh, sorry, that was the one. Uh, no, that's the right no, one. That's the right this, one. Was, this was the right one. 
I thought I misclicked, but I didn't oh. misclick. So search works as well. So if you want to just find <laughs> it, then uh, so Alex put this together. So lots of technical presentations from Graph Connect that you can watch directly, uh, with, which is a lot of really good stuff in there. Right. Cool. Right. Thank you, UKH2. Thank again. you all. For, this was fun. Uh, for nice words. And um, yeah, I uh, hope to see you again see you uh, soon. Uh, see you uh, either tomorrow or on Monday or uh, anywhere else. So um, any other time, basically. Um, yeah, until then, uh, have a good time. Uh, have a good good week and uh, see you soon. Yeah, take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, take care.